Hello and welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we're going to take a look at how to edit a city nightscape photograph. The photograph you're looking at here was taken in Brisbane a couple of nights ago at around 7 o'clock at night. If we look at this photograph, this is how the photos started out before I edited them. And this is the sort of thing we're going to try and accomplish. So let's give it a go. So to take a photograph that looks something similar to this and turn it in to one that looks similar to this, we're going to use some lens correction tools. We're going to use some of the detail tools and bring in some more detail and some noise reduction. We're also going to use the HSL color tools. And the basic editing tools. To look at this photograph, the photo in general looks quite dark. But if we look at the lights from the buildings, it looks like it's exposed quite well. So the first thing we'll do is we'll bring down those highlights. We'll bring up the shadows. And we will now increase the exposure of the whole photograph to bring back some of the light. the whites down a little bit and I like to have some dark areas in the photos as well as some light areas and that's looking okay the first thing that most people notice when looking at a photograph is the lines and you can look at the water line there and see that it's not quite level so if we go up to the cropping tool and we click on the spirit level there, run a line with the spirit level across that water line. What that's going to do is line that line up for us. When you finish, just click done, and that already looks better. Now we'll go back over to the basic editing tools and we'll increase. The texture, increase the clarity. What that's going to do is bring out more detail in the lights, more detail over here in the rocks. I like to see if a nighttime photograph that has very vibrant colors. So we'll increase the vibrance a little bit. Now, what we'll do. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen. Use the lens correction tools, which will identify the lens that I use to take this photograph. If for some reason it doesn't identify the lens, you get a, a choice here. You can right click and choose any lens you like. Then we'll go up to the detail tools. Now what makes this tool easier to use is if you put your finger on the option button on the keyboard and hold that down, then use the left mouse button, you can see what happens. The whole screen goes white. And what we want to do is bring that over until we get a a bit of detail in there. Probably somewhere there, I think. Now we do the same with the option button. And increase the amount of sharpening. 
radius button and you'll see on the screen that it start to see more detail in the photograph same with the detail button and I'm quite happy with that now because we record in the screen at the same time uh, it take the computer's going to take a little while to make them adjustments and the last thing we're going to do is use the luminance slider here and add some noise reduction but what we'll do we will highlight the sky you can see the, the grain in the picture there and we can just about eliminate all that by using the luminous slider somewhere there give it a second again to take effect because we're recording the screen at the same time okay now that looks pretty good to me if we, if we go to the keyboard again and push the backslash button you can see the before photograph and the after photograph I'm quite happy with that one last step here is if we wish we can increase the saturation on the greens it tends to make them up out on the trees and so forth on the blues for the sky and maybe we bring down the orange a little bit for these lights and glows so let's go through the process again choose another photograph I've already had a look at this one this one should edit up okay so the first thing we do is increase the exposure bring down the highlights bring up the shadows we can play with that exposure a little bit more there to just get it to the level that we want it bring down the whites a little bit a bit of darkness into the blacks increased increase the texture increase the clarity you can also play around with the temperature but when it's a, a nightscape photo I like to see it a little bit on, a little bit on the warm side Now, we have the same issue with the water level, so we'll use the little spirit level there again, draw a line across the water, uh, it's only very slightly but you could see it. Now, scroll down to the lens correction tools tick both the boxes scroll up to the detail tools finger on the option button move the masking slider up until we get our almost black and white image and happy with that increase the amount of sharpening move the radius slider to the right until you start to pick out some of that detail the same with the detail slider somewhere there and then we're going to zoom in on the sky and you can see it's a little bit grainy so we'll use 
the noise reduction there to just smoothen that out a little bit. Give that a minute or so to take effect. And that's tidied that image up nicely. I'm just going to Increase the saturation on the greens. Make you see the trees in the foreground stand out. Reduce a little bit of the red light. Increase the blues to the sky. And these other little lights around the place. Increase the luminance of the greens. Luminance of the blues. Now I'm quite happy with that. We look at the before and after shot by putting a finger on the backslash button on the keyboard. That's the before, that's the after. Please let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more or similar videos on different editing styles. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.